It was precious cargo, and the timing was critical. A Chicago man out for a drive was asked to perform a life-saving task, and now he's being honored by the Red Cross as a hero. As I went past uh, Soldier Field, I noticed a green and white uh, ambulance going past with the sirens on. My team was out uh, on an organ procurement um, and were returning with the organs. They were in the transportation vehicle that had an accident on Michigan Avenue, totaled the vehicle essentially. So I kind of slow down and as I'm letting down the window, um, at the time a, a gentleman came up to me and he said, hey, can you help us out? And I said, sure, you need me to drop you off somewhere. And I said, uh, he said, yeah, can you drop us off? And I said, not a problem. And when I got out, I noticed um, a young man coming uh, towards me with a couple boxes and he had a couple coolers. And once we started our travel, I, we started chatting. And I asked him to say, so what happened? What's going on? They were actually on their way to Northwestern and um, to do a transplant with uh, some patients. And they was already uh, ready. For, they was prepping and ready for, for surgery. And when he told me that, it hit me like a ton of bricks. And with transplant, with deceased donation especially, um, timing is of the essence. If you wait too long for these organs, they can have organ dysfunction or not be transplantable. And so, you know, with his sort of quick action, it really didn't delay anything at all and really changed that patient's life forever. You know, I've been in this business for almost 10 years and never had a sort of a situation like this. When I found out a stranger was bringing my team, I thought to myself, would I do the same? Would I have done the same? It was amazing, you know. He, he, again, got out in the middle of traffic to help them. Robert King, the passerby, stopped to help one stranger in need. He ended up helping to save two lives. If we all lend a, a helping hand out, it would just make the world a better place to live in. No matter what color we are, what religion, what background, the language we speak, but if we all just help out our fellow man, Chicago will be a better place. America would be a better place, just the whole entire world. Wise words from Robert. He says because of COVID-19, though, he lost his sales job. He's now focusing on family, friends, and staying healthy. If you want to help the Red Cross help others, go to CBSChicago.com slash Red Cross.